Basic Techniques Bonding These basic bonding techniques are common to most repair or building projects, regardless of the type of structure or material you're working with. Whether you're gluing parts together or coating with epoxy, for good adhesion, make sure the surface is clean and dry. Sand non-porous surfaces with 80 grit sandpaper. Before mixing epoxy, check parts for proper fit. Bonding or gluing porous parts together generally involves two steps. First, wet out or coat the bonding surfaces with mixed, unthickened epoxy. Be sure end grain and other very porous surfaces are well coated. Thicken the remaining epoxy mixture with an adhesive filler. It should be just thick enough to bridge any gaps between surfaces. Apply thickened epoxy to one of the mating surfaces. For non-porous surfaces like fiberglass and metal, you can skip the wet out step and apply thickened epoxy directly to the surface. Apply enough epoxy so that a small amount squeezes out of the joint with moderate clamping pressure. This assures that all voids are filled. Clamp the parts together with just enough force to hold them in position. Don't use too much force or you will leave too little epoxy in the joint. Before the epoxy begins to gel, use the flat end of a mixing stick to clean up the excess around the joint. On many joints at or near a 90 degree angle, you can strengthen the joint by forming the squeezed out epoxy into a cove shaped fillet using the round end of a mixing stick. Add more thickened epoxy if necessary. Clean up excess epoxy, the flat end of the mixing stick. Let the epoxy cure before removing clamps. Cure time depends on hardener cure speed and ambient temperature. Check the residue in the mixing cup to monitor the curing epoxy.